Hello, I'm Michaelia White. Thank you so much for joining us. All-Star Weekend is in full swing as fans are out and enjoying all the festivities in downtown Denver. And it's bringing a big boost to our economy from Play Ball Park here to the littlest of Coloradans playing ball with Denver Mayor Michael Hancock on the lawn right in front of the City County Building to a 5K race around the heart of Denver. And it's just the beginning as we get closer to Tuesday's big game. Now, it took quite a lot to get all of this to our city in just a short amount of time. CBS 4's Sean Boyd is live tonight at the Chop House. And Sean, what a whirlwind. Yeah, and Mac, now we know the backstory of how this all came together. Three months ago, Major League Baseball made a bombshell announcement. It was pulling the All Star game out of Atlanta, Georgia, in protest of a controversial new election law there. It needed a new venue and fast. Tonight, the beh a behind the scenes look at how Governor Polis and Mayor Hancock went to bat for Denver, Colorado. I will never forget when staff said to me the commissioner of Major League Baseball wants, wants to get you on the call. Mayor Michael Hancock had been on the phone with Governor Polis for weeks trying to lure baseball's all-star game from Atlanta to Denver. In my mind, I said, he's not calling to say you're not getting it. <laughs> he's calling to say we're coming. It was the kind of economic boost the state and city sorely needed. What it didn't need was the controversy that came with it. Obviously, we also wanted to understand, you know, more about the political environment and why they pulled out of Atlanta. The politics over Georgia's election law had played out publicly, but Hancock and Polis insist privately it was the elephant in the room. So what, what Major League Baseball wanted to see is that we were ready to go and all on the same page. They say the organization asked about hotels and restaurants, police and fire, COVID infections and vaccinations, everything but politics. They never asked about elections. Uh, you know, they wanted to avoid politics as best they could. They wanted to, to put this behind them right. and not have it be something that followed them here. Yeah. They did. I absolutely get it. But Hancock knew it was an issue and 15 years ago says it would have likely cost Denver the game. So this really all started back in 2006. All back in 2006. The year of the electronic voting machine debacle in Colorado. And we went about designing the most innovative accessible voting system, I believe, in the country. It's now paying off in ways no one ever envisioned. They wanted to avoid the kind of controversy that would uh, lead to athletes boycotting the event or fans boycotting the event. So we, we don't have anything controversial. We have a great voting system. We also have a bid already submitted for the 2024 All-Star Game. The Rockies organization was ready to go. Uh, they had a proposal to host it in future years. Uh, they showed that the flexibility, the creativity to be able to move that up. It doesn't hurt either that Denver has experience with big events. Still, this event wouldn't be here if not for politics. Now even baseball is political. Yeah, absolutely. Does that concern you? We've seen recently in the last five to seven years, politics invade sports, whether it was standing or kneeling for the flag. But the reality is there. And how do we leverage? The governor just picked up the phone. So you reached out to them. Reached out to Dick Monfort, reached out to Commissioner Conference in Michael Hancock. Until the announcement was made, you know, you never know. And he says, all right, you guys ready to do this? Well, we're ready to go. He said, let's do it. We're showtime. So far, the controversy has not followed the MLB here. While there is a heavy police presence throughout the city, public safety manager Murphy Robinson tells me there have not been any protests. Live in Denver's McGregor Square, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.